While the SP500 or Vanguard's VOO is one of my favorite investments to buy as a standalone ETF for a diversified and high yielding portfolio, I 100% found something that is better than having only VOO or only VTI or even a dividend ETF to give you exponentially more returns and is just as easy to manage to make you very rich in the long run. And that is combining Vanguard's VOO, which invests in the SP500 or the top 500 largest companies in the United States, and Invesco's QQQM, which invests in the NASDAQ 100 index of 100 of the best and cutting edge tech stocks. This is personally a combination I do in my own ETF portfolio, and I buy as much as I can every week into this excellent two fund portfolio. Typically 30% of my money goes into QQQM and 70% of every $100 goes into VOO. So 30 and $70 out of $100 respectively. And with this combo, we could take advantage of achieving the highest highs in terms of reaping the most returns as safe and as fast as possible. Now it did say QQQM and not the famous and traditional QQQ because Invesco launched this new ETF, that of QQQM, that does the same exact thing as the original QQQ, but has a lower expense ratio of 0.15% versus the original 0.2% and has its cheaper share price, which makes it way more attractive to investors. So if you wanna save more money and make more gains in the long run, then buy QQQM instead of QQQ. If we invested in both QQQM at a 50% allocation and VOO for our other 50% allocation in our ETF portfolio with $500 per month invested, the historical average of this combination is around 16%, in 25 years, we would end up with over $1.6 million, and in 40 years, the returns absolutely skyrocket, and that compounded interest really takes off, and you'll have over $15 million. So anyone who is young and has a 20 to 45 plus year time horizon in their investing journey until retirement should definitely take advantage of this two fund ETF portfolio, so you can live the life you want and buy whatever the heck you want. Why this two fund ETF portfolio of combining both VOO and QQQM is one of the best ETF combos to get as rich and as fast as possible in order to enjoy your wealth earlier rather than later is because it's mainly a growth strategy of QQQM coupled with a market matching strategy of both growth and value investing, that of VOO. Growth stocks are shares on companies that are expected to grow faster than the overall market, where these companies will reinvest their profits back into their business model rather than paying huge dividends such as tech stocks. This is evident by QQQM having a low dividend yield of around 0.6%, but this fueled growth is seen by great tech stocks like that of Nvidia, Apple, and Amazon, and from its 22.41% five-year compounded annual return and 17.66%, 10-year compounded annual return as well. Value stocks are shares and companies that are considered undervalued by the market with solid fundamentals, and these companies are trading at a lower price relative to their earnings or assets, and value stocks typically pay a higher dividend yield than that of tech stocks, so they'll be paying a sweet amount of passive income. And the SP500 or Vanguard's VOO is a prime example of being a blend between large cap growth and value stocks as you do get a fair amount of tech stocks in this ETF like Apple, Microsoft, and Google, but you also get a fair amount of value dividend paying stocks that of Coca-Cola, PepsiCo, Merck, and many more. Hence why VOO has a good dividend of around 1.4%, which is more than a growth ETF like QQQM, but also less than a traditional value dividend paying ETF that pays around 2.6% in terms of its dividend yield, but VOO also has amazing returns of 13.87% compounded annual returns since its inception in 2010, and the SP500 averages just over 10% since its inception in 1957. Circling back, there's two funds, easy to manage, high returns, retire early, what's the catch? With this allocation, there's a greater amount of risk to investors as growth stocks tend to have a higher volatility level and have a higher chance of dropping more than the market. Now, when I mean the market, I mean the SP500 or something like Vanguard's VOO. In simple terms, when the stock market is going up and it's doing very well, QQQM and other great growth ETFs will perform well and most likely will perform better than VOO to drive higher returns to your portfolio. But when the stock market is going down and we are in a bear market or recession, expect QQQM and other great growth ETFs 
to drop more than VOO, but that can be a good thing because on the flip side, you can buy more shares and make more money when the stock market inevitably recovers back to its all time high. With QQQM, a 0.15% expense ratio is low, but it might not be as low as other great growth ETFs in this category, such as SEHG and VUG, which have 0.4% expense ratios, could save you a little bit more money in the short run, but QQQM takes the crown over all these ETFs with higher returns than both of them combined. And VOO is a Vanguard fund, so of course it's going to have very low expense ratios as well. Now another way to exponentially rocket your returns now rather than later is to invest in alternative streams of income, such as Amazon FBA, with Kyle Enberg, the president and CEO of Limits Express, where Kyle literally helps his clients to make thousands and thousands of dollars in a monthly passive income through his completely automated program and I welcome Kyle to explain more. I appreciate you having me on the channel. So just to break down the, the business model first and what it actually is that we do, we do Amazon FBA wholesale. So what that means is we're going out and we're buying products in bulk from suppliers. We're getting those products into our warehouse. We're packaging and prepping those units, how they need to be sent into Amazon. We send those products into Amazon and then Amazon does the rest and they fulfill out the orders to the customers when we receive an order. That's what the FBA stands for, fulfilled by Amazon. So that is the entire business model that we are doing the reason why you know we we started to offer you know bringing on clients is because we realized pretty quickly to scale in this model you need access to capital so you know when we're going out and we're reaching out to these distributors some of them have minimum order quantities of fifty thousand dollars so you know if you're an individual seller trying to get started on amazon fba if you only have access to you know five thousand or ten thousand dollars one you're probably not even gonna really be able to place much orders with these suppliers but also they're gonna have no wiggle room you're not gonna be able to be competitive on pricing on amazon so what we quickly realized is if we can become these suppliers top spenders and be spending 300 400 500 thousand dollars with them on a monthly basis they're going to start to give us 5, 10, 15% off. They're also going to start to give us deals before they even send it out to the rest of their catalog. So being their top spender and having access to that capital and that buying power is able to unlock us deals that you know you wouldn't be able to get when you're not placing, you know, that large of orders. So the whole idea behind, you know, bringing clients on is we don't have, you know, 300, 400, 500,000, you know, liquid to be spending every single month. So what we do is we bring clients on, you know, and we bring investors on that want to get signed on with us, they will supply the inventory spend. So they supply the capital. So, you know, again, you know, possibly one of your viewers coming on, they supply us with that capital. We go out, right. we purchase, we pool everyone's money together and we're placing, you know, 200, 300, $400,000 purchase orders to unlock the best pricing for all of our clients. So again, they supply the capital and we do all the work on the Amazon. So it's a complete passive investment for them. All you're doing is supplying that capital to help us scale up and we're able to help bring you guys passive income, you know, through that, uh, through the profits that come off of Amazon. So how it works is each client would get their own store. So when you sign on with us, we will set you up your own store. It'll have your name attached to it. It'll have your bank account attached to it. And then what you do is just every single month, you decide on how much inventory you want to spend. Right now we average a 28% ROI on the store, meaning, you know, if you spend you know, $10,000 your first month, you're going to make roughly $2,800 in profit on that store. There is a profit split after that, which I'll definitely get into because again, you know, it, it's our way of making money through it too. So we do take a split from the store. I can get into kind of how the, the whole package works. Really what it would be is it's a $5,000 investment to get started, you know, with us. So it is a $5,000 service fee for us to run your store for three years. So we're going to be, you know, doing A to Z, everything on your store, managing any returns that comes in, the accounting and your spreadsheets, what I'll definitely get into, um, all that stuff, obviously picking the products, prepping them, packaging them, get them getting them sent out, all that stuff will be handled by us. And so it's a $5,000 service fee to get started. And then on top of that, that's when it's completely up to you on how much inventory spend you want to, you know, put towards inventory. And then, you know, obviously it comes down to the more you spend, the more you can make is we give the clients a 90% split on the store until they make their initial investment back. We want them to be able to make that $5,000 investment back. 
and be profitable from that. So we do a 90-10 split until they reach their $5,000 investment. And then after that, we go to a 60-40. 60 for the client, 40 for us. Okay, so here is the estimated profit calculator. And this is based off the 90-10 split. So obviously this 90-10 split will only go on until you make your investment back. But just to give you an idea, let's say that you were starting off with about $5,000 worth of inventory. Normally, you know, we have roughly right around 75 to 80 clients signed on with us. We average per client them spending about $7,000 a month. And, you know, normally they'll kind of start out with like five, 6,000. Some will come in and start with like 10,000, which I can definitely show on the spreadsheet. But let's just start kind of right around a $5,000 investment, you know, to start off on, on that inventory spend. So, you know, you're, you're seeing right here, it's going to be $5,000 for that monthly inventory spend. And then the ROI, we do average a 28% return on that investment. So you're spending $5,000 to make 1,400. That's profit on the store. Again, we will get into a split. Also, you're going to see here, there is return. So what we're selling mainly general merchandise products, you know, we're selling stuff like mouthwash, toothpaste, we're also selling, you know, Advil, Tylenol, we're, we'll sell, you know, even a little bit of in the automotive space. Um, we also sell products, you know, some beauty products, some healthcare products, just simple stuff like that, that people always have to buy no matter what. So it doesn't really have a high return rate, you know, we're not selling something like clothes where, you know, when they get that in, you know, it doesn't fit and they, they're sending that right back. So it's a very low return rate. So we don't run into many returns, but it will happen. Of course, you're going to get returns. Um, so you can see right here. So we, we factor out the returns right here. This is what's left after the returns. And then we do have to pay for shipping to send the products to Amazon. So th that is going to be another expense that would get taken out. Then that's going to leave you with your net profit after the profit split. So this is a 90 you know, percent split that you're taking right here. So if you're spending $5,000 on inventory, this is what you're looking to make on that monthly return right here. And then this is what you're just going to see after 12 months, after 24 months, after 36 months. Now, again, this 90 10 split is only going to be for in, you know, when you make that $5,000 initial investment that you'd put forth for our service feedback. So you can see right here, you know, you're going to be able to make that $5,000 investment back in about, you know, five months, you'll be able to make your initial investment back and then just profitable from there on out. So I want to pull up the 60 40 because that's what you're going to be used to from the, you know, the remainder of the, the bulk of that contract. So let's just say, let's put it back at 5,000 and say you were spending that as well. So now you can obviously see how this is going to change. Obviously you taking a 60% split instead of a 90% split now, but you know, you can still see, see the numbers that you'd be looking to make here. And some of them are just rolling this profit directly back in and trying to continue to compound this. So again, you, you being from, you know, the kind of the stock market world, you know, I, I'm sure you can kind of understand where, you know, if you continue to roll this over and continue to compound that, the, as you keep spending more, the more you're going to be able to make, which, you know, the faster you're going to be able to increase how much you're spending. So you can see like $1,500 here in net profit. If you're rolling this over and now you're spending 11500 you know, you're going to see how these numbers are going to change and you're just going to continue to make more and more month after month, you know, as, as you start to, to, you know, to spend more, you can get on a quick 30 minute call with me where I can just kind of take you through, I can take you through client stores. Also, I think you're going to link our website as well, where you're just going to be able to see pictures of our warehouse. You'll be able to see some client results on there, all stuff on there, but you know, you guys can definitely book a call with me where we can go through any questions you have. You know, I'm sure there's a bunch of stuff that I missed that you guys are probably curious about. And, and you know, we can definitely go through on, on a quick 30 minute call. Thank you so much for all that, Kyle. This seems like an amazing way to diversify your income, uh, make pass make income passively. There's 75 plus people. Uh, doing this with you and they seem like they're having excellent results so let's get back to our video if you don't want to be as risky of an investor with buying a growth etf like qqqm you can just lower your allocation to it for example having something like 100 percent of your etf portfolio allocated to a growth etf it's going to be extremely risky versus having something like 60 percent 50 percent even 20% of your portfolio allocated so you can just lower the exposure tailored to your age and overall risk tolerance to mitigate this factor. So if you're younger, have a higher allocation to a growth ETF. And if you're older, keep it lower. And both these ETFs have great historical returns, which won't be as risky as something like ARK Innovation, which doesn't have as long of a track record and the indexes that they track, that of the S&P 500 and the NASDAQ 100 are well established and well known indexes. And in my opinion, over the next five to 20 plus years, they aren't gonna go down anytime soon, unless some huge war happens like some of you guys are saying, or a meteor hits the earth. 
these ETFs are going to be one of the best in the game for a very long time. Now, if we have both QQQM and VOO, we take advantage of having low expense ratios, a fair dividend yield, which might not be as high since we added a growth ETF into our mix, but we have market being returns, which should be at the top of any investor's list. Because returns drive overall growth in your stock portfolio, which can allow you to retire earlier and live off your built up nest egg. Now you can retire earlier with the dividend ETF, that of something like SCHD, DGRO, or this famous monthly paying dividend ETFs, but it might take a lot longer to compound those dividend payments than this two fund strategy. So if we only invest in the S&P 500 or only VOO over the next 25 years with $500 invested per month at an 11% annual return, we would end up with over $720,438 compared to $1.6 million from our only VOO and QQQM combination. And over 40 years with only buying VOO, we would have over $3.6 million compared to over $15 million with QQQM added into our combination mix. This is why I personally always allocate a growth ETF into my stock market portfolio strategy to retire earlier, have more money in the long run, and be financially free at a younger age. Now that about wraps it up for this video guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did enjoy it, give it a like because it's cute puppy did. And comment down below an ETF that is a growth ETF that you guys are invested in or that you guys love. Continue to crush it in the stock market and have a great rest of your day. Peace.